Okie dokie, okay, here goes. Behold, the most recent edition. Uh, so when the museum opens, this should be in it. What is it? Well, it's actually a visual field analyzer. It's basically a peripheral vision tester. How did I end up with such a thing? Well, when I was with Dave, the nervous squirrel was picking up the owl organ for here. Uh, we went to an auto jumble, which is basically, uh, in England, you get auto jumbles outside. They're sort of like car boot sales, which is another English term, yard sales or whatever. Like, uh, this is an auto jumble, so basically it's just a car boot sale, but for car parts. I prefer auto jumbles to car boot sales sometimes because it's not just full of baby clothes and baby toys, it's actually full of like things like this. Like it's not even to do with a car, but it's like, imagine seeing that at a car boot sale. Uh, yeah, it's a bit more believable in an auto jumble. So when I saw it, it was sat on the floor and it just didn't make sense what it was. Uh, I sort of thought it was something to do with car MOTs or something, like an alignment test or something because it was in an auto jumble. You know, you jump to those sort of conclusions, but alas, uh, it seems that cars need their peripheral visions tested or, or something like that. Huh. So this is the Friedman Visual Field Analyzer Mark II and it's made in Great Britain so it's an English thing, Clement Clark International Limited and from my limited research it was from approximately 1979 to 1984 I think these were manufactured so it could be from any part in that time but it's it's massive it's huge it's like really big and I think that's the thing that uh, mainly attracted me to this odd machine <laughs> it's just the sheer size of it like what the heck even is it what is it look at that it's so strange but it does have that definite medical look to it. So let's have a look at it. Let's uh, look through. So at the back, there is a serial number of 766. So I wonder if that will uh, show us any information on when uh, this machine was created. But it's pretty cool. The actual case is like a very strange, like, plastic i remember that plastic from some other medical devices around the time and trust me i know because um for some reason i've been in and out of uh like old 1980s uh medical buildings where the stuff's still there and stuff so it's got all that plastic on it it feels it feels like that but the thing is the amazing thing about this is it is completely mechanical it's, anyway, i'll show you in a sec what i mean but we'll just have a quick look at what is going on so this is where the uh this is not where the patient stands this is where the uh, tester person does the standing uh, there's a bit of a clip to hold your graph paper on pretty snazzy pretty beautiful how wonderfully obsolete for this and then it's got this chart brightness and stuff like that and then around the front you have the visual part so you look in here the idea is you look pop your head in there and you look at this uh, little gap there and actually it comes with a let's just uh, put the um, I'll put the crosshair on put the crosshair so you look at the uh, you look at the crosshair through this and you got this uh, cheek adjustable uh, cheek mount so you can put your chin on here there's two chin holes so you can test your left eye and your right eye same with the uh the head bit i'll just test that right left eye and then right eye <laughs> so the whole idea is you look through here and you look at this and then there's lights that flash around here and then you need to tell whoever it is that you've seen the flashes if you haven't seen the flashes then your peripheral vision is to giving you warning signs about something and this could be anything between uh, just dodgy eyes to uh, a tumor or something like that so it's uh, always good to get your peripheral vision tested even though i don't think i ever have <laughs> but anyway let's turn it on and i'll show you what's going on so this is what uh, I didn't know when I purchased it first. Uh, it got it super cheap, so I was just like, it's worth a flog. But then I turned it on, and then look at this. Look at this. So this mechanical thing, these are all connected mechanically. So there's this big lever here, and you flick this through. But watch this. This is like the showstopper. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. These are all different lighting setups. So when, when it's set up on here, you push the button right here. Uh, you hear that pop? You can actually look through this uh, little gap. You can see the light flashing. Yeah, it actually. Ooh. It's 
very dim. Just going to change the colour of it to uh, magenta, no, neutral. Ah, well, they are very, very faint. So they're very faint to see. But when you flick through the colours on this top lever, and I'll show you how amazing that is, the actual, there's a light, there's a multicoloured neon light in here. You can see that indicator in the indicator. How cool is that? And then uh, there's a chart part where, I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, it's for the uh, backlights, for the chart. Look at this. And there's a light there to illuminate. For some reason, you might want to illuminate it. Not sure why. I think I may turn it into a musical instrument. Like have all of these notes, so this lever will control the lights and the lights should control some notes or something. So it'll be like a I think that might be pretty cool because obviously it's a bit obsolete at the minute because there are modern modern equivalents of this that probably do a much better more modern job but um, this is just awesome there's a little uh, so the so the person reading so the person looking at it actually pushes this so they push this whenever they see a light flash so I don't really understand it because this buzzes they can hear it. They can hear the flashing every time, so I don't know whether... It's very strange. It's really strange. High voltage! Right, I don't know how well you're going to see in here, but just have a peek. Ah, uh, let's see if we can get a good shot. There's a massive... Mass of cogs and one day uh, I think soon I'm going to go and take a definite look in here when I modify this I'm going to have to take this apart I'm very reluctant to take it apart right at this minute as it's fully functioning but there's a number of really interesting mechanisms in there and I can't wait to do another video on this when I actually modify it if I do but the question is what am I going to modify it to should I make it a musical instrument does does a peripheral vision machine really need to become a musical instrument what do you think? So that's just a really quick look at this thing. Obviously the next time we're gonna look at it will be when we modify it. If we do modify it, I'm not 100% sure what to do with it. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I'm really quite tempted on uh, breaking out all of the LEDs uh, to trigger out. I mean, using LDRs on them would be cool, but then you lose the uh, kind of visual uh, look of the LEDs uh, at the front because just, Oh, how cool is that? And then look at the, ah, there's just so much tactile awesomeness. I might just leave it as it is and just let people mess around with it. I'm not sure yet. So let me know in the comments if you've had any experiences with the visual field analyzer, uh, or if you've used it, or if you've even been tested on one of these. I'll be really interested to know what the actual procedure is for this. If anybody has any other information for this, or if you are a technician that has used these things, or even had the pleasure of taking it apart and repairing it, that'll be another interesting thing. So please let us know in the comments, because I need to gather some information for this to kind of write around what's going on, but... Oh, that's pretty cool. The museum is very slowly coming together. I reckon there's a month or two to go. Unless the coronavirus situation worsens, we'll just see how it goes, play it by ear. But definitely by the start of next year, we're gonna have uh, a functioning museum and you can get your eyes you can get your eyes tested. I do a lot more vlog updates on my Patreon, which helps to support this crazy venture of trying to make a museum in the southeast of England. And I'm also doing a builder's live stream tomorrow. So if you're interested in kind of breadboarding circuits and stuff live and watching me mess up and stuff like that, then please go and check it out. The links are in the description below. And yeah, I've been Sam. Um, this has been the Visual Field Analyzer. I know it's a very vague video, but it's waiting for a part two. So let's, uh, let's stick around for that. So yeah, totally do.